Hey, what's up? I just wanted to show everybody the new and improved Hunyan Laura trainer. And we're going to go through a quick example to show you guys how it's improved. Uh, so the very first thing we're going to do is going to choose a video from YouTube. And then we're going to use this model here to essentially create a data set that has auto generated captions. Yes. Yeah, so from the 10th second to the 40th second, and we want about eight clips. So that's going to be about 3.75 seconds ish uh, for each clip. And we want to use the um, trigger word Rick Rolls like this, just because we want to use a trigger word that doesn't really have any associations to real words. So you don't want to use the actual token Rick Roll because you'd be adding other factors and concepts in. Uh, and what you'll see is if I run this now, um, th this will start running. If we have a look at the logs here, um, we have the eight clips that we asked for, and it's being auto captioned here. So, so if we download this, I'm going to have a look at the downloads folder. Uh, it's, it's this one. And then we can see that all the clips are here. But not only that, but there's also captions and they were auto generated for us directly from a YouTube URL. Um, now, if we go to training, we can create a new model. We'll call it Rick two epochs because we're only going to trade for two epochs right now. Uh, we will want to click on the zip file that we just generated. We'll want to pass in the same trigger word as we did earlier on. Uh, and there's no need to auto caption because we all already have captions, but we'll just leave it on for now. And we said we're going to do it for two epoch. Um, so with max steps, you can control how long it's going to take in terms of gradient steps which means you just have a lot more control over how long the training is going to take. Um, going down here, we have the rank of the LoRa. Uh, we're going to set batch size to as high as they can go and then start the training. Um, but here's one I did earlier. And what's really cool about this is, um, I mean, you can see that it works. So we all have this prompt here and it's, and it's working. Um, and then if I have a look at the model and then what training created it, you can see right here that the training was five minutes. Because we have this Hunyan model trained and it's on replicate, we can actually use the playground, which means you can go down into manage models and then type the name of the model. I've already done it, so it's already shown up here. You just want to hit enter um, and then you can just command enter a few times and you'll get the the clips. Um, and of course, all of the code is open source. You can check it out. Uh, we'll just let this run. As a side note, um, you should really play around with the training settings. We don't fully know what settings work the best right now. So we're gonna experiment, see what works. Um, if you end up getting a training time that's in the order of like two, three hours, uh, try reducing the number of epochs, reducing the rank, increasing the batch size, and playing around with some of these options here. Um, if you want to learn more about what these options do, I would highly recommend going on to the GitHub here and just having scrolled down through the README where it tells you more about what each parameter does. If you want to improve quality, just increase the number of epochs. It will take longer, but the quality is worth it. So you can see here that we have the outputs from spamming our Rickroll fine tune that was only trained on two epochs in five minutes. Um, this shows you guys the power of replicate um yeah peace